Thank you. <laughs> uh, do we have questions? Yes, Danny. Hi. Um, uh, I, very interesting hypothesis. Um, interesting is good. That's a good word. I'm, I'm wondering if you could address uh, whether this can coexist um, profitably with infantipulting. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> When, we were, when I was working with Zach about this, uh, this proposal, um, I sort of wanted to bring the, the, the idea that superhumans could, would be able to infantipult much, much farther. <laughs> much farther than normal humans. <laughs> maybe about twice as far. Like, maybe the difference between a really good kicker and like a, like a, 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 um, an average kicker. The kind of distance you could, you could achieve. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's great you brought that up. <laughs> Robin? Yes. Um, anthropologists and archaeologists are, are beginning to find that in addition to the cave art, that fabric arts and fiber arts were far more common in the Paleolithic period than we had previously assumed. Um, would you hypothesize that one of the earliest uses for fiber arts was thus the manufacture of leotards and capes? That sounds pretty uh, sound. I think I'll use my vast variety of sources to be able to justify that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Jordan Smith. <laughs>